All right, guys, we're out here on Moses Lake. It's mid-July. Uh, we did a tournament yesterday and only the top 10 advanced, so we didn't make it, and that was on potholes, but we're here anyway, so came over here to fun fish today. Uh, there's some giants in here. Last night, just off the hotel bank by the lake, I caught like a three and a half pound smallmouth. So today, uh, we're going to give it a go for a little while um, before we go home. Going to try a frog, and uh, they seem to like a black and blue jig out here too. So we've caught some big ones out here. Neil's personal best is out of here, tied for another lake. But we're going to give it a try, just do some fun fishing, make a video, check it out. Subscribe if you haven't, please. That'd be great. And uh, we'll see if we can catch some good ones. Pretty sure you can sell the shit. You yeah. can sell it or get rid of it for free. Because it's all it's all usable, right? Like it didn't used to be though. But Before like the Oh yeah. Let's see him. Get him up. I wanna see Oh big, yeah! Big smally. Oh, where'd that net at? Huh? Look at you. That's a big smallie, dude. Yeah. Big nice. Good on her. Back us out. Back us on out. Back us out. We're on. But, ooh, she is fat. So fat. Big old swim face. All right, guys, switched over to a swim jig. Just like a perch colored, kind of a perch colored swim jig. Got a couple bites and just got her. She is thick. She's got crawdad coming out. Little crawdads uh, deals coming out, Neil. Some tentacles. Some tentacles. She is fat. That's the cool part about Moses Lake is you can catch you can catch largies and smallies in the same areas. All right guys, so we've been trying the black and blue jig. Not a whole lot of success, but we I had a giant smallmouth, like over four pounder for sure, maybe even a five, just dart up and try and get my black and blue jig when I was reeling it to the boat fast. So it's little clues like that that tell us, oh, we might need to start doing something reaction. So through this swim jig, swimming it slow, as soon as I sped it up, bam, got smacked. And now Neil's throwing a crankbait and catches one. So pay attention to little details like that. They'll tell you what they want any given day. Oh yeah, big smally. Really? Oh yeah. Come on, buddy. Big darky. Another nice smally on the swim jig. Alright guys, so tackle tip of the day is on the wacky rig and how we like to throw it. Um, some guys use use the O-rings, um, some guys don't use any O-ring, which is probably the best way, but you're gonna you're gonna lose a lot more Cinco's. So the best is a Gary Yamamoto Cinco. All the other companies they make 
you know, their version of the Cinco, but the best is the, the real Gary Yamamoto Cinco, in our opinion. Um, so, the wacky rig is just hooking, hooking it right in the middle. So, the hook we like is this VMC weedless Nico hook, but we, we use this for a wacky as well, and it's, it's just a really good hook. We barely lose them. The little clear weed, weed guards help quite a bit too. But um, the other thing we use is, you can get these on Amazon, it's just shrink tubing that's clear. So here's what it looks like, and this is the 5 16 inch size. So for a, for a 5 inch Cinco, the 5 16 is the right size. So all you do is you take your shrink and you just cut off a little like quarter inch piece. So all you've got is this little quarter inch piece of it. Now when you, you just slide the, the small tip through it and pull it up the worm to the middle. Now the whole point of a wacky rig is to be, you know, more on the finesse side. So when you have a black o-ring in your in your wacky rig, it looks kind of funny. So look at that there. You can you can hardly see it. Okay. Now what it also does is when you hook through it, you're barely gonna you're barely gonna lose the number of sinkos that you would if you didn't have this. So all you do is just hook it right through it. Now you got your wacky rig and you're not gonna lose so many worms. And this right here is just money. So check that out. Check the VMC, the VMC weedless Nico hook. Get you some clear shrink tube off Amazon or wherever. Um, these hooks here, you can get them at Limit Out Marine and Pacific. Um, same with Cinco's. That's probably your best bet around in Western Washington is going to be Limit Out Marine. So check them out. I'll put their I'll put their info in the description. But that's the tackle tip of the day. I'm gonna do the tackle tip of the day, son. Sure you got one. Oh yeah. Nice largey on the swim jig. guys look at that big old girl three and a half pounder for sure Good fish. so catch and release if they get hooked like that cut your hooks so they get away alive and they live to live to find another day oh yeah shoot 
All right, guys, so we're gonna pack up, head home. Uh, we were only out here for about five hours today. Probably had about a 16 pound bag, which is pretty good. We didn't even get here till like 8 a.m. Uh, so we didn't even really get any of the morning bite. Figured some stuff out and made it work and started catching some good ones. Only caught one large mouth, but it was a good one. Uh, the rest small mouth, but if you haven't been to Moses Lake, it's a super good lake, it's fun. Uh, there really isn't even that many people on the lake today and it's like the perfect day out. It's 80 degree weather, mid July, not very windy, just a little breeze. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.